Shout out to the K&J fam, and you're rocking with Carissa and Angelina. And today, you guys, we're going to be talking about how much money Facebook paid us the first year that we started a page on Facebook of doing our mukbangs. As you guys know, last week we did a video on YouTube, how much YouTube paid us after a year. Mm -hmm. So we just thought it made sense to go ahead and show you our Facebook as well. The purpose of this video is to tell you about our journey, how much we have made on Facebook in the first year. Now, everybody's journey is going to be different. Some people are going to make a lot more money than we did. Some people are going to make a lot less money. We just want to show you our journey for maybe the people who want to start a Facebook page or maybe just uh, for our supporters, people who watch us and are curious how much money you can make on Facebook. We wanted to do this for you and we wanted this video to be just very informative. And before we actually dive in and start getting this going, uh, I do want to mention because there are a lot of people that wonder when we say Facebook page, are we talking about a personal page or a business page. We're talking about our specific business page. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have personal pages, but we don't make any money from that. It's our business page where we actually make money. So in this video, we're going to be talking about why we even chose to grow our Facebook page in the first place. Then we're going to be telling you the challenges of growing a page on Facebook. We're going to be talking a little bit about the benefits of growing on Facebook. Uh, we're also going to mention how to get monetized on Facebook. And lastly, we are going to end by telling you how much money Jamil and myself made the first year on Facebook putting up videos. We're also going to cover some stats so you guys can actually see uh, for the full year uh, just everything that we actually accrued over the year. Why we chose to grow our Facebook page. That's actually a big question that we wanted to really cover here uh, because for most mukbangers and I think most video creators, they tend to go on to YouTube to actually grow their audience. Uh, for us, we recognized early on that we really wanted to focus on the community aspect. As we've talked about in a lot of our videos, growing a community is really important to us. Uh, it's a way for us to engage with people, uh, build relationships. And luckily with Facebook, they let you do a back and forth banter way easily than YouTube does. So we're able to really have conversations and do private chats with a lot of our supporters and we love doing that. So that's a big reason why uh, we wanted to do Facebook because we knew we could create a connection uh, with our supporters and develop really close relationships with them, which we have, and it's been so much fun. Another good thing about Facebook um, versus YouTube, once again, YouTube is saturated. There's so many people on YouTube constantly trying to grow. I mean, every day there's thousands of new creators. Um, Facebook, once again, it's kind of untapped. So going viral on Facebook is a lot easier than on YouTube because there's not as much competition. Now, we're going to touch on it in just a little bit because growing on Facebook is hard. So you, being able to go viral, it takes a long time to actually get to that point, but it is a lot easier to go viral on there. So that's one big thing that we decided to do early on was to make videos that can go viral so we actually can grow that audience. Going viral on either platform, whether it's YouTube or Facebook, is very difficult. But if we weigh uh, the chances, I would say, in terms of our industry, which is mukbang, which is basically an eating show, we thought that we'd have more chance to go viral on a video on Facebook, which we actually have compared to YouTube. Yeah, I do want to clarify that because you're absolutely right. Uh, on YouTube, you can go viral depending on the niche that you have. The difference is this is just a lot less competition on Facebook. So that's what makes it a little bit easier. It doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that you can't have a viral video on YouTube either, of course. Now, Facebook does come with its challenges, of course. Uh, just like all platforms, you do have to understand the platform in order to grow. Now, with Facebook, um, as you guys probably already know, maybe you do, maybe you don't know, uh, Facebook's organic reach is really difficult. Basically, organic reach is how many people Facebook are going to allow to see your video. For example, if you have 100 people in terms of friends um, and you post a video, oftentimes people think that all 100 people are going to be able to see your video. That's not true. So what organic reach is, is the amount of people out of that 100 see your video. So a lot of people think that if you just post a video and you have 100 people, that all 100 people are going to see that video. That is not true. Uh, Facebook actually has a pretty small percentage of people that they show your videos to naturally when you post. That's what organic reach is essentially. So your organic reach in terms of how many people they're going to show your video to is a lot lower on Facebook than it is YouTube. 
although it is a challenge to get really good organic reach, um, it is possible to do on Facebook, but it does take some practice and really it takes a lot of time, right? The good news is the more people that you actually have, the more people Facebook will actually show your video to. So going back to the last segment where we talked about being viral, uh, the more people you have, the easier it is to go viral. So although there are challenges on Facebook, uh, organic reach, and maybe a few other things as well, we still feel like the community aspect makes it a really good platform to actually grow on. Next, we're going to be talking about how to get monetized on Facebook, which I'm sure a lot of people are super curious about that. So basically, at the time we got monetized, which was February 2020, you had to meet two criteria. One of them was that you had to have 10,000 followers on your Facebook page, which again, seems like a lot and it does take a while to get there. Um, however, you can get there, you know, it just takes consistency of posting a lot. The second criteria in order to get monetized on Facebook is you need to have 30,000 one minute views within 60 days. 30,000 one minute views within 60 days. So if you have 10,000 followers and 30,000 one minute views within 60 days, Facebook says, oh, I'm going to give you money now uh, by posting ads on your videos and then they will give you money for that. They actually sing to you like that too. They go, oh. yeah. <laughs> One of the misconceptions I think with growing a channel is this idea that the more you post, the more you actually will get out there. But that's not actually true. What you need to do is actually create videos that the algorithm likes so they can push you further. So specific to our journey, getting to 10,000 wasn't so much of a challenge, but getting to that 30,000 uh, one minute views is really difficult. Difficult. That took some time. Uh, the reason for it is because people only watch about a minute of video and they go to something else. So it was a little bit more difficult for us to get to the 30,000 hours. It took us overall about six months to actually get to those 30,000 one minute views, um, but it was worth it once we actually got there. It just took so much time and work. Now, when we say so much time, it took more time to get monetized on Facebook than it did YouTube. I believe it took, to be honest, only, I think it was only a couple months um, longer to get monetized on Facebook than it was YouTube. So it wasn't that much longer, but I do think the criteria is harder to hit to get monetized on Facebook than it is YouTube. So just to take a step back, we were posting videos, I think it was actually six days a week we were posting videos, and the videos were getting really good engagement, really good views, but nothing was taking over the top. Um, but we ended up having one video in particular that actually went viral. There was another video behind it too that kind of pushed it also, but it was actually our A challenge. It was uh, eating three eggs, I believe, in one minute. With no hands. With no hands. Shout out to Perfect Queen 33 by the way, because that was her challenge, yes. so thank you so much for helping us with that video. Mm -hmm. um, but that challenge actually took us to that next level. So it got us those watch times right away. Mm -hmm. Like, it was really hard. Like, we were sitting there trying to figure out how are we going to get to these 30,000 mm -hmm. one minute views, but literally one video just came through one day, and it just took off. And that's what happens. The algorithm will just work for you on Facebook Facebook, you know, being consistent and engaging with the audience, and then they're going to push a video. Maybe they'll even push two videos to go viral to give you your watch time that you need in order to get monetized. So that's essentially what happened to us. So now we're going to be getting into how much we made for the year that we were on Facebook. But before we give you that number, we want to tell you some important stats that we think are important to pay attention to. We actually started posting our video on August 25th, 2019. We're going to bring it all the way down to August 25th, 2020. So our first stat is minutes viewed. We had 8.9 million minutes of all of our videos watched combined for that year. So the next metric that we want to talk about is the one minute views. So as you guys can see, in a whole year, we have 1.1 million views. Now we just needed a 30,000 within 60 days, but we actually were able overall for the whole year get 1.1 million. So shout out to you guys that watched our videos and help us actually get to that number because that is a big number. And you can see on this graph here that in February, uh, when it comes to these one minute video views, February where that video went viral was the most minutes viewed that we had all year was in February. February 19th, we had 14,000. 
533 one minute video views. And again, we needed 30,000 in 60 days. I really believe that one of the things about Facebook, they really are trying to promote that they are a video platform. Since we are one of the few creators that are posting videos in this type of way, they really wanted to give us a push. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's why um, that in February, they really pushed us really hard. Uh, and as you can see through the months, it actually kind of went down. I want to actually add to that because the pandemic really did affect our numbers. Uh, we don't know to what extent because we actually hadn't been monetized before, so we don't know exactly to what extent, but we do, we did notice a drop the next month or so, uh, and then, you know, the steady decline, and now to the point where it's starting to raise up again. So here are all of our top videos that performed really well for the whole year. So this was that challenge. It was the three boiled eggs challenge, plus we had in and out I believe, as well in that video, which always does well. Uh, so overall, with that just one video for the whole year, we had 390,000 minutes viewed. Uh, and then overall, let's see, the one minute views was 55,000, so pretty much 56,000. Uh, we got a lot of uh, angry faces on that video. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay because overall we got really good responses to that video. People didn't like how I was eating the eggs. They were like, come on girl, you can do it. And I was taking my time basically is what happened. But that's neither here nor there. It was a good video. Go check it out. So the next step we're going to tell you is how many followers we got on our Facebook page within one year. As you can see, it says we got 62,000 followers within the first year of Facebook. We have been on YouTube for a year as well, and I believe our number at that point of being a year monetized was just under 5,000 subscribers. So as you can see, Facebook is way more followers within the year. So now without further ado, we're going to be telling you how much money we made on Facebook in the first year. No? That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Drum roll. Okay. That's just good. So we made, so basically we make money from Facebook by them putting advertisements on our videos and they give us money for it. So within the first year on Facebook, we made $3,361.45 from advertisements on our videos. Um, if you watched the YouTube video, you saw that we made about, what was it, $1,500 um, on YouTube within the first year. So this was more than double our YouTube uh, money within the first year. But getting money through advertisements advertisement is not the only way we made money. There's something called stars that Facebook allows. Kind of like YouTube with a super chat or a super sticker if you're familiar with that. It's a way for people to donate money to your channel. Well, stars is kind of the equivalent of a super chat or super sticker from YouTube. YouTube. But basically Facebook has stars. So within a year, and this is just through donations alone, so we want to thank each and every one of you who donated. We made in a year $1,201.57 through Stars donations. So everything that you donate to us, we put back into our channel, whether it's our food for our mukbangs, equipment that we need to create setups, or we also do contests and giveaways uh, for our supporters, where we give away money, we give away gift cards, and that's a big thing we want to do is give back to our supporters as a thank you for watching us and following us. As you guys probably remember, earlier this year we did, I think, about two contests Contest where we gave away, I think overall about $1,200, maybe $1,300 worth of gifts. So as you can see right here with stars, about $1,200, we actually gave that back essentially to everyone because once again for us, this is about building community. And one of the things is to build a community is to just give back as much as you can. So that was something we were really focused on. And I think a lot of people should understand that, you know, YouTube is not the only way to grow. Facebook isn't the only way to grow and, and, and get money and create a business. A lot of people are do it on Instagram or TikTok or other social media platforms. A lot of social medias are giving you money that for advertisements that they put on your videos. So you really just have to think like what works best for you. You can do as many platforms as you want or as few as you want, but we did want to show you that you can be successful on Facebook as well. And I think a lot of people, especially in the mukbang community, videos like we do, they're mainly on YouTube, uh, but you can be successful on Facebook. So we really wanted to show you that. One misconception about Facebook is a lot of people will tell you that, oh, Facebook's outdated, no one's on Facebook anymore, and like all these things. But this is clear proof that you actually can uh, grow an audience and actually make some money. I mean, whether you think there's a lot of money or not, you know, we, we've actually made some money off of, off of Facebook, which is really big. So uh, like Kristen's saying, I definitely think 
If you do want to do Facebook, go for it. That works better for you. If you're all for wanting to build community and, and have uh, conversations and relationships with people, Facebook's probably a really good option for you. But really, you want to make sure you choose a platform that works best for you. So we just want to say that we could not do, have done any of this without you guys. Thank you everyone who has seen our videos, watched our videos, commented on our videos. We appreciate you so, so much. And we're super excited about our journey. And we feel, Jamil and I feel so grateful that we're able to give you videos that you enjoy, hopefully. And um, we love the fact that we have, um, you know, followers on both YouTube and Facebook who love us and appreciate us. So thank you so, so much. So everybody who watches, that's super helpful. And everybody who donates, that's super helpful. So thank you. One thing that you can do that is so helpful besides watching our videos is sharing them. Sharing them with your friends and family, letting them know what we are doing. Sharing is super, super helpful because it gets our videos out naturally and organically and really exposes more people to us and hopefully they like our videos and follow. So that is a big, big thing that you can do and we appreciate that so much. So we hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to write them below. We'll be happy to get back to you on that. Thank you to everybody everybody who um, again supports us and we hope that we answered some questions about you know how much money uh, Facebook pays you and again I just want to reiterate this is our journey not two pages are alike not two channels are alike um, but this is how much we have made and we are super excited for the future so thank you so until next time guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and share share is caring let your friends and family know what the K and J fam are doing until next time we hope to see you wait Damn it, I said we until next time. Wonderful. Yeah. So until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there, and we will see you in our next video. Mm.